Asana project management best practices. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Asana and how you can minimize your workload and get more organized. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So first things what we need to do is we need to come over to Asana and just simply sign up. Now you can sign up by clicking on this sign up button over here or clicking on the get started button over here at the top. I'm just gonna click on get started. And over here, all I have to do is enter in my name and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google because I think that it is much more easier. So let me just go ahead and click on the login button over here. And as you can see, I've already signed up. Once you have, you know, logged in, I had already created an account, but I didn't finish creating an account. So I'm going to go ahead and finish those now. So over here, write your full name. It's really easy. Once you've written your name, click on continue. What kind of work do you do? I basically do project management and operations, right? So basically I create videos. I have some topics that I manage and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm basically operations, you know, click on continue. So over here you will have what is your main objective. So project and process management or personal task management or portfolio and workload management, right? So I'm going to go ahead and project and process management over here. So click on continue and over here you will see you have set up your first project so what's something that you and your team are currently working on so we're basically working on youtube videos right click on continue and what are the few tasks that you have to do for youtube so first things first we need to come up with ideas so we're gonna go with topics over here so we'll have topics so first we have like task name and stuff like that so then what we need to do is basically we come up with topic ideas basically then we go ahead and write a script about it and then when we have the idea when we have the you know script we go ahead into production and then we click on continue now over here how would you group these tasks into the section or stages so we'll basically say like you know this would be ideas okay and then what we're doing is in progress and then finally we have completed then click on continue and over here what you want to have is a list or a board or a calendar or a timeline i feel like the boards are pretty simple they're big they're open you don't have to worry about that so we'll go ahead and choose board section and click on continue and over here just simply enter in your teammates email so i'm going to go ahead and add one of my own emails click on take to my projects okay so we are over here so basically this is how it looks like so basically this is topics and then down below you have your ideas and script writing and stuff like that basically this was another thing that i wanted to do basically it's very simple so over here you have your topics right so basically what we can do is we can assign someone over here we can change the priority to high because this is high and then we can add like you know description that hey you have to like you know complete these topics find these topics do the research and stuff like that and show me what we've done so that's how you basically do it and then once you've done that you can move it along the board so this is not how my board looks like my board is something else so we have topics then what we have is like scripts over here and then we have voiceovers and then we have the finalized videos and then we want to add another section basically for review and then we have completed section okay so this is how it would basically look like right so let's just say that this is the first task right so the first task is this how to get started on youtube right so let's just say that this is the first task okay so we'll just put these tasks over here we'll assign the assignee and then basically the script writer what he will do is he'll basically take the topics that he has been given he'll put it over here and he'll write the script and then over here at the bottom he'll add a subtask he'll basically say script over here and then basically paste the link of the script over here and basically like you know do that and uh, that's basically it okay so he'll basically assign that okay and then basically he will assign the voiceover artist whoever that is and basically he'll assign that to him now what voiceover artist will do he will take this block over here and put it in the voiceover artist the scripts guy will move on to the another topic and then the voiceover guy will make a create a voiceover upload it and add it over here into like create a subtask and he will write like vo and then link it over here vo link 
VO link is going to be over here and he'll basically just assign the, the other guy who is creating videos and they'll be done and that guy will take like you know the video and over here let's just not call it finalized because it's not the finalized we'll complete it over there so the video guy will like come over here he will have the script ready he will have the voiceover ready if he both need both then he'll take those and then he'll basically create a video okay and then over here in the descriptions he'll basically add the video link and then he will basically done with it and then he'll be put it on over here review now if you are the project manager or stuff like that your job will be to overview all of this you know to see what everyone else is doing and then once everything is done he'll just come over here and just copy the link and watch the video if the video has been done what he will do is he will ask a question over here down below that this video is good but change the logo at 2 30 like that's the time code then he'll post that comment over here and then he will also assign that signee as well so over here he'll basically add the collaborators over here and uh, he'll basically tag the person who has basically you know done the video and then that person will just you know work on the video and once he's done that and once the project manager has said that okay this video is good it's approved he'll basically move it to the complete section over here so that everything is pretty simple it's really easy like it's everything over here now since it's a project manager and you will have other things too right so basically you will have other teams so what you can do is you can go ahead and create other templates as well if you want to this is like the standard template that i use it's very simple it's very easy like you have your topics over here your ideas whatever you want to call it then you have your columns for each section such as scripts voiceovers videos reviews and stuff Stuff like that and then over here you will basically assign other persons as well your assignment will also be like you can't just you know watch the finalized video your if you are the project manager your job will be to overlook everything basically whenever a script is written you will have to check the scripts and see if that's good enough and see if that's you know all well and done now you can as i said you should be able to create other tasks as well you can customize all of this as well so over here you have customization options you know and then over here you will have your tasks i've created tasks i've assigned to others recently completed tasks and the messages you've sent and messages i've received and all of that as you can see right now this is the operations right like this was your uh, projects over here this was your youtube videos now you can go ahead and change that as well now i have another one as well so we basically can choose a template as well so over here we will have all these different templates but we can go ahead and use a blank canvas as well we'll call this project like podcasts okay because i also work on some podcasts as well call this podcast and then okay public operations private operations you only you know you will have people that are assigned to it will be able to you know view it so we'll keep it private for now and we'll switch it to board section click on continue and you can set project contacts share with teammates and start adding tasks we'll go to the project and start adding tasks okay so what that basically means is that for a project like okay so in the to-do list we'll say that these are the podcasts we have the podcasts over here right and then we will add like podcasts over here and we'll add basically a link over here to the podcast and then whenever you assign someone on this podcast he'll basically you know take that link and move it around now i when i create a podcast i create questionnaires and socials as well so we'll create another bottle so we'll create another like you know board for that so We'll say that these are going to be the socials over here and then we're going to come over here and we'll say this is the complete podcast and then we want to create another one we'll say questionnaires or questionnaires we'll call that over here and we'll, we'll move this board over here actually before the socials here we go so now when we have the podcast over here we have the link we have the raw files what we'll do is we'll assign the person who's going to make that podcast so what he's basically going to do is he's going to take the podcast and he's going to complete it and he'll post it over here and he'll basically also post like you know uh, another task over here we'll say questions for this podcast okay i'll basically say questions questions for podcast number one okay over here he'll basically add a link to a google drive or a dropbox where he will contain all of the links to that project to all of those questions now what he will basically do is he'll basically look at the questions he'll find the video and he'll make the socials and he'll create the tasks of socials socials for podcast number one and that's basically how you do it you know try to create yourselves 
a better timeline a better board that is easy for you each person has his own uh you know customizations each person has his own preferences to how he thinks is easier whichever one you find is easier that's how you can basically do it so this is how i usually do asana this is how i usually do my project management skills like it's very simple create boards assign the people and create boards for reviews and completion uh, it's very easy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye